day two. Day three. All right, a little behind schedule after 48 hours stuck in the marina due to storms. So now I'm just walking down the lake to see what the wave situation looks like because we're getting ready to head out. Oh, this is gonna be good. You're wrong and you're a grotesquely ugly freak. Got decent wind and it's like glass calm. Which means the other side of the lake's probably a little rough, but oh well. That's called foreshadowing. Hey guys, so we are set sail, we are running with the wind, currently going about four knots, so should be an Elk Island in about four hours. 20 minutes later. So four hours of some white knuckle sailing. We're finally in the shadow of Elk Island. Oh, it's been a long four hours. I uh, look forward to taking a nap once we get on anchor. Watch the last, ver the first part of this video. Those trees, that's the peninsula I hiked to. Flashback. End of flashback. anchored over by the island. So now, after my skinny dipping, I think we're going to uh, head to shore and go explore. 350 meters swim to shore, and I'll explore the island, and then 350 meters swim back to the boat. One kilometer detour on the trail. Station side quest on the boat. Horseflies and mosquitoes are absolutely awful in here, and we left the bugs right on the boat. <sighs> Outrun mosquito high five. Close to the beach. We're we'll free from mosquitoes soon. Hey, the boat's still there. They did a good job anchoring. Now it's a kilometer of beach, and then uh, I'll figure out how much that swim is. Six hours later. guys so we got back at like 10 to 12 last night it was really high stress not being able to see the seawall not being able to see the slips other than just trying to illuminate them with flashlights and stuff so i didn't do any filming at all it was just i was way too stressed out for it but we uh we made it back we we docked first shot too like it was you'd think we were a well-oiled machine uh, it was pretty neat. Uh, the, uh, the Coast Guard of the Army was doing like flare exercises out over the lake and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, ultimately, we ended up having to turn the motor on about 10 nautical miles from shore because the wind just stopped. 
and the waves were still going like going strong so i didn't want to sit there and bob in the waves waiting for the wind to pick back up so i ended up just firing up the motor and just motoring in in the uh the last 10 nautical miles um yeah towards the last i'd say last two or three nautical miles the wind picked up again so we we're getting a pretty good clip between the sail and the motor but uh yeah no we got back in so in all it was like a 13 13 and a half hours of sailing yesterday uh, i swam half a kilometer to the island hiked three kilometers swam half a kilometer back to the boat i am uh i am beat but i'm going hiking again today it's just we're going to drive because the satellite phone died um it took on water even though it was in a waterproof bag which is kind of frustrating it's also frustrating that they say it's waterproof, but uh, when I went to go push the buttons, a bunch of water squeezed out of it and the red light was on. So <laughs> that was uh, a bit disappointing. Uh, I want to give a big uh, a shout out and thank you to my channel members. I have three now. There's uh, Chris, P uh, Pam, and Amanda. I'm going to just add the channel members to a list on the um, on my intro. I think that's going uh, to be pretty fun. So yeah, if you like what I'm doing here, make sure to subscribe, ring the bells to get notifications, hit the thumbs up button, or the thumbs down, helps me figure out whether or not you guys like my videos. Drop a comment down below, I do read all my comments. Um, if you gotta DM me, just shoot me a message on Instagram. My TikTok and all my other socials, as well as my merch store, the link is in the link tree in the description. And as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching.